This tutorial is going to be a direct uh, sequel to my previous tutorial of how to add your favorite unit, which if I know I did not explain uh, thoroughly, you can actually use the same technique to copy over buildings too. Same with infantry, pretty much anything. That's the basic premise. Um, this is going to continue specifically the second part of that video I added the expert crusader which was a public asset if you look at the previous video for links and this is just a reminder this is what the unit looked like it was just a crusader with a minigun a china minigun this be specific added to the top and we're just gonna look at the expert crusaders properties and modules we're gonna identify the weapon set, the armor set, health, cost, and upgrades, and much more. We're even going to touch on the cameos, the command sets, not any commands because that's a building specific thing. I'm your host, Janice Jaguar, and let's get to modding. Alright, so remember it's the uh, America Crusader tank, it's the Expert Edition. Um, first, let's look at the art. There is, this is the button image is the cameo icon image that you would use to build the unit. So it's the War Factory's image. This particular image, the select portrait one, is this image right here. This would be the other one would be a great example of that. Next, next we're going to look at the upgrade cameos. This particular unit has five. One, two, three, four, five. These are just images um, that will activate when the particular upgrade is unlocked. So when you uh, unlock the composite armor, it'll light up. This is the art. This is the 3DS file that we moved in the previous video, previous tutorial. This is the damage state. This is uh, the destroyed state. But, as you can see, it's the same model. That is quite okay. This particular... Alright, let's get down to more in-depth coding. The display name is a CSF edit. So, I'm going to, as you can see, it's based on the Crusader. I am going to change that to have its own individual identifier. This will break it in game. It will now be a missing object. Um, I already changed this to boss. I changed the, the transport slot is when it's in a, uh, let's say if it's in a Chinook or a uh, Helix, it'll take up two slots. You can change that to any number you want. Or you can even change it to zero, I believe. Don't do that, though. You know, you can potentially call it. Let's move on to the weapon set. And this will relate to the weapons.ini file. All right. The weapon set for the Expert Crusader, as you can see, it's default conditions has three weapons. This is the cannon and the Gatling gun on top, which has a um, tank and infantry gun and an air unit. Let's real quick add an upgrade weapon set. First, let's copy the weapon set and paste it, just like how this is pasted down here. Weapon set, weapon set. Also, just copy this over, player upgrade for the conditions. Now, here comes the fun part. I just put a 1 at the end. And let's not forget 
to uh, create those weapons in the weapon INI. Just copy and paste the weapons that already exist and just put the one there. As you can see I already upgraded the damage and that's all you really got to do. It's that easy. And uh, let's open up that weapon INI file and look for that weapon. This is pretty uh, self-explanatory but some of them might be a little bit hard um, because you need to uh, understand certain uh, um, numbers in the sense of um, conversions. For example, the shots between um, firings is 2 milliseconds or 2,000 milliseconds which is actually 2 seconds. Um, you can control quite a few things with this. We have the damage, which is the primary damage in this case, which is the direct hit of the actual uh, shell. And then there is how much of a, an explosion damage it does, like in the sense of a, a shell would do small damage, but like say the nuke would do more damage. This is the spreading out of the group, like let's say it shoots at a bunch of uh, mi uh, miniguns, they'll spread out. This is the range of the attack. That seems about reasonable. You know, we're not here to uh, make it too overpowered. Um, here is the fire effect. This is the uh, this is the fire sound. This is that Crusader specific sound you heard, you'll hear. Um, and then you have the clip size, which means in this case it has unlimited shots and its reload time is 0 2. So it just has unfitted the shots that shoots every 2 seconds. And that's just how it works. The weapon speed is another one that you should look into also. Um, as you can see the Gatlin gun one is kinda instantaneous whereas the tank gun is, is less so. Now let's look into the armor set. This will be a reference into the armor.ini. This particular unit, its armor set, comes default with just the generic armor for the tank. Um, apparently this unit also has the default with a uh, upgrade, the default upgraded tank armor. We uh, we should probably add that in, but first let's see if it actually exists. Alright, let's open up that armor I&I and, I and check out the basic. Um, basically this is the susceptibility and resistances and immunities that a unit would uh, have. This accounts for buildings, infantry, and of course tanks and air units. Um, this actually also applies to um, special units, for example missiles, um, including super weapon missiles. Um, they all have a certain level of resistance. Um, as you can see a tank resists being crushed, but you know, the Gatlin tank, or the Gatlin gun, does very little damage to it, because it's a tank. Same with uh, melee, and you can't even use a sniper against it, of course. But of course you can kill the pilot. That's the uh, Jarman Kell uh, shot. Uh, this is the particle beam damage. I feel like that should be higher, though. It should be a little susceptible. Let's put that up to 120 damage. So it does a little bit more damage against vehicles than it normally does. That's exactly what that means. Right. We're going to go further down to look at some of the health and the costs. In this particular case, the build cost for this item is 1600. We're going to make it a little stronger. So let's uh, let's make it 2500. Um, this is the build cost. Again, this is this actually one is in seconds, not milliseconds. 
Uh, 15 seems right, but let's make it, uh, let's seem 12. That seems cool. So we'll keep that one actually 50. We'll do the shroud clearing one. We'll reduce that to 200. Um, that brings us down to what is required to build this unit. This applies to buildings also, and infantry, and everything else of all that good stuff. Um, as you can see, this is defaulted to the America War Factory and the America Strategy Center. Um, let's change that to the boss versions. Alright, I uh, yeah, changed the uh, required buildings to the War Factory and the Strategy Center. I see that. That's about fair. It's a pretty advanced unit. Um, Alright, let's enable that. Next, um, we are going to go down to the experience. Um, I previously edited this. I, that seems about right on the battlefield. It's a rather high value target. And of course it needs some good experience too. You know, it seems a little high, but in my mod there's a lot of carnage. Like we're talking about hundreds of units per skirmish. Next, um, we have it is trainable command. You actually can add this line to buildings like the uh, minigun and the M cannon or the at missile cannons and the other Patriot missile ones and like the uh, stinger missiles. It yes, you can upgrade the also the super weapons and they will actually gain experience it's, and the little icon will show of them actually being expert level and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, next we have the command set. This would be like it to stop and defend. You can, you know, do that icon or attack move, um, you know, all that good stuff. N next we have the audio. This would be all the audio that you can do. Um, select, move, guard, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. This would be located in the audio I and I, but also it references the audio dot big you would have to extract. Next we have the health. The max health and the its initial health are can be two different things. Its max health is its max value. In my particular mod I am starting the boss units at half health. Um, it's just a theme I have going on in my particular uh, mod as a sense of a handicap because my boss is really powerful in the sense of what it can do. Ooh, perfect. I was gonna show you this. Um, this particular line of code right here allows one unit, in this case, one unit to enter the unit. So you can put one infantry unit in there, in this case. So you can put a sniper. Apparently this will do 100% damage to the unit if it dies. That eh, doesn't seem right. Let's do 50%. Let's be generous. Alright. Next we'll have the locomotor, which references the locomotor I and I. Um, you, know, you can create all kinds of things with that. Um, in fact, I will be upgrading this to a faster version.